What's up folks? I'm gonna show you how I'm using VS Code and GitHub Copilot to not write any code today. I'm gonna to show you how I get it to build and write out my daily task list for me automatically every single morning, boosting my productivity and just making it a little bit easier for me every single day. My name's Liam Hampton. I'm a senior cloud advocate on the VS Code Developer Tools Advocacy Team here at Microsoft. Let's jump into it. Let me show you exactly what I do. Okay. So over here in VS Code, I've got a simple daily task markdown file. All it's doing is saying, read and execute the task below and then create a new checklist in a file stored in this current directory and name it with today's date. Really simple. Task number one, I'm gonna ask you to use the GitHub MCP server to tell me what open pull requests I have here in 2025. So I do this because I have typically quite a lot of pull requests that just hang around and I don't sometimes follow up with them my bad, uh, but it's always quite fun just to go and see what I still have hanging around and I can poke for reviews and get the ball rolling. Number two, I'm gonna ask it again to use the MCP server uh, for GitHub and I'm gonna ask it to put out any issues that are assigned to me so I don't leave anything hanging around. My life revolves around GitHub and VS Code so it's actually quite good that it can go and pull this stuff out for me because it just means I don't have to go into the UI and do it myself. And then number three, because I'm a code addict, I love to write a lot of challenges and complete the leak code daily challenge. So I get it to get the daily challenge for me and spit it out into a markdown file for me. Awesome. Let's get cracking. So I'm going to open up GitHub Copilot. I'm in Azure mode. I'm using Claude Sonnet 4 as my model. And I'm just going to say complete today's task. Pretty simple. It's going to go ahead and call these MCP servers and hopefully get all the data it needs to write me a markdown file. So it started, it's called the GitHub MCP server. The first task has been completed where it's going to pull all the pull requests out. It's then going to search the issues for me. That is now completed. You can see how fast this really is for me. If I was doing this manually, it would take so much longer. And then we have, it's also completed getting the daily challenge from leak code. So it's got all the information it needs. It's just going to go ahead and create this file for me. This is probably the longest part of the process, if I'm honest with you. So it takes just a moment here. And what I should see is in my editor, I should see a new file pop up in the current directory dated with today's date or titled with today's date. There it is, really simple. I can right click this and open in preview. It says it's gone ahead and created it. Here's a summary. We don't need to worry about that. It's just gonna spit out everything that's currently in the file. Let's go and have a look and see what it did for us. So daily task, July 17th, 2025. That is today's date. And it's saying open pull requests. It's found a couple of open pull requests, maybe some recent ones that I've got. Um, so add a made down file. I think I did that yesterday. So these are actually some personal projects. So you're gonna see some personal stuff in here, clearly. Number two, issues assigned to me. We've got a couple of issues assigned to me. Some of these, again, personal projects, some of them for, uh, for work, which is pretty cool. It's pulled out everything I need. And then number three, it's actually got the leak code daily challenge. And as we can see here, it is a medium, yeah, a medium difficulty problem. I'm guessing this, yeah, okay, working with arrays and subsequences, awesome. This is gonna be a fun one for me to do later. That is it. That is how I boost my productivity every single day by getting Copilot and VS Code to not write me some code, but actually help with my to-do list every single morning. Happy coding, have fun, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye now.